Hello friends. Actually using these two small tips can make a revolution for your workflows and it will be very, very easy to design complex workflow in Comfy UI. Designing a switch and also using the set and get note from KJ Studio. Uh, before that, make sure that you have installed the RG3. Okay. And also this one, RG3 and KJ notes. I will place the link in the video description. So watch this small video and it will make a revolution for you. All right, this is the default workflow. And firstly, I want to optimize the workflow and start to make a big workflow. Okay, the first thing is using big context. Okay, and at first I want to transfer all the nodes and connections to the big context. Okay. And after that, make a copy of the context, connect the context to context, and then I can connect the model, positive, negative, latent, and V. Okay, excuse me, positive and negative. So now everything that will go to the sampler are is connected uh, are connected to the big context now for example i want to add a control net in the middle of my workflow so i am using advanced control net and you know that you should install the extension i explained all of them in my uh, other video in my in the YouTube. So also for the advanced control node when, when I am adding a node, I will make two copy, okay, of the context. Take a look here. Okay, positive, negative, and model. And after that, positive, negative, and model. So this context need one input. So the input is coming from the first context and the next context uh, should go out but actually we have to uh, make a switch between the original context and the context with control net so here I am adding any switch from RG3 okay for uh, for example this uh, context always is on okay so I will connect it to the last option. Okay, it's very important. So because it's it will be always on, I should connect it to the last option, last input, and connect the first, connect the control net that maybe will be turned on or off, should be connected to the first option. And after that, you can connect the any switch to the context. So let me minimize them place this here and this one to here select these nodes and add the group and uh, if you after installing the rg3 if you go to the setting you can active this option okay and then you can see these two icons and you can mute it on or off so if I turn it off, actually it will not work. So let me show you. All right, now this group is turned off and you can see the default image. Now let me turn it on and also add a control net model. Okay, for example, load control net advance. And from here, I want to select the depth control net. Let me minimize that and place it here. And it needs some image for input. So I have load image. Let me select an image. For example, this chair. 
and I have to extract the depth information. So after installing the control net preprocessor, you can see this node. And if you check the preview, you can see that it can extract the Z information, Z depth information, and we can connect it to the control net. So this group is on. And if I press Q, actually the control net should be work as you can see here. Okay, so now the control net is working. And if I turn it off, the control net will not work. So it's a great switch. There is another great node. It's coming from KJ nodes for Comfy UI. So you should install that. And after that, you can see these two nodes set and get. Okay. So for example, here I placed the image exactly near my control net. So imagine that you want to place the image in somewhere else in your uh, workflow and you want to connect the image to set. And here you should write a name for that, for example, depths. Now here you have the get node and if you click, you can see the constant names that you are setting with a set node. And then if you check the preview, okay, you can see that actually there is a connection between set and get. But we can't see the connection. If you right click on the node and click on show connection, then you can see they are connected. But by default, you cannot see the connection. So it's extremely useful and you can send the depth information to the control net. And also let me turn on the control net. So uh, actually make sure that uh, you can use these two techniques for designing the switch to turning on and off something and also using the set and get node from KJ node suite.